In the majority of cases, direct proof uh, is done algebraically, but it can be done by a logical argument. So, with this example, the product of any three consecutive integers is a multiple of six. In the majority of cases, um, I expect a lot of people would jump straight in to write out three consecutive integers and try to show that it must be a multiple of six. Doing it that way is quite difficult. Um, there is an easier way, and it's through logical argument. So, if you have three consecutive integers, we could write those integers down. We could write n, n plus 1, and n plus 2. Now, regardless of the value of n, you know, if we just... Um, if we just picked any three consecutive integers, um, they're the general consecutive integers, but if we just picked like um, 17, 18, and 19, then because uh, we have picked three consecutive integers, one of them, at least one of them, must be even. Okay, Because numbers go even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, at least one of them is even. And we can see that, in this case, 18 is even. And because it's even, that means that it is divisible by 2. Now, also, um, because you're picking three consecutive integers, that means that at least one of the numbers in your list will be a multiple of three. It must be in the three times table. And in this case, 18 is also a multiple of three. So, regardless of the fact that we've got just a specific case there, in general, if these are my three consecutive integers, at least one of them must be divisible by 2, because at least one of them will be even. And at least one of them will be a multiple of 3. Therefore, I would be able to take both 2 and 3 out as a factor. And if 2 and 3 are um, factors of this, then 6 is also a factor. So I'm multiplying these numbers together because we're looking at the product of these three consecutive integers. So if I'm multiplying these together, then that means that I can take out a factor of 2 and a factor of 3. And so I can take a factor of 6 out, and I would have 17 times 3 times 19. This is an integer times an integer, and so that means that these three consecutive integers are a multiple of six. And in general, that must be true in all cases because of our logical argument here. Okay, so if you have one that's divisible by two and one's divisible by three, then you can take a factor of six out.